Hi, this is Lerald, and today I've got a guide for the re-released Mage Tower challenge for Protection Warrior. I've just put up a guide for Brewmaster as well, and if you want more of a deep dive into boss mechanics, you can check that out. You can also read the guides I've written for Wowhead on both Brewmaster Monk and Protection Warrior if you like reading. Now, I wouldn't say that this is uh, easy. I mean, it's the Mage Tower for tanks, but once you have the hang of the encounter, the defensive parts of this are pretty forgiving on Prot Warrior. All right, let's just get down to business. This is the talent setup I ran. There is some wiggle room here. I think Stormbolt is okay as an option for stunning Inquisitor Varus in Phase 1, but you can interrupt him with Shockwave and Intimidating Shout while outside of his circle, so I don't actually think it's necessary. The extra mobility and rage from Double Time is really nice. Crackling Thunder and Bounding Stride are both good. I would say that's totally a player choice in that tier. I prefer the extra pickup range from Crackling Thunder for grabbing adds. And you can use Into the Fray, but I think the extra burst damage from Ravager is really helpful for getting through Phase 1 quickly. I actually found the hardest part of this challenge was just doing enough damage to get through the phases fast enough, where your damage is still pretty mediocre. Now let's move on to gear, and I didn't do anything fancy here. In terms of trinkets, I used Splintered Heart of Alar from Castle Nathria, and Pocket Size Computation Device, the BFA trinket from Mechagon, with Cyclotronic Blast. The Cyclotronic Blasts added a lot of damage, and that was really helpful, but any offensive trinket that's decent would be fine here. Now let's move on to the special stuff Warrior has going for it in this fight, and it's actually a pretty short list. In Phase 1, there's really nothing going on there. Again, you can Shockwave or Intimidating Shout to interrupt Varus' Drain Life casts if you're not able to run in and just pummel them. Uh, in both Phase 1 and Phase 2, Challenging Shout can help you AoE taunt all the little adds probably only once during the fight. You can't spell reflect any of Varus' damage, so Phase 1 takes a pretty long time. Just keep dodging and just keep grinding them down. Once you get to phase 2, there's one major boss spell that you can reflect, Cruel's Twisted Reflection. If you reflect Reflection onto Cruel, it will cause all of your attacks on him to heal you for 5% of your health, and it lasts for like 45 seconds. As long as you have cooldowns up to mitigate each cast of Annihilate and you move out of the fire circles as quickly as possible, you really shouldn't have any problems staying alive in phase 2. There is one thing to be careful of when reflecting the Twisted Reflection, though. The Nether Horror auto attacks are spell hits, and they can consume your spell reflection, so be sure that they aren't auto attacking you if you're trying to reflect Twisted Reflection. You can fear them while I stun them, or best of all, just kill them. As long as you can reflect each reflection, the main difficulty of Phase 2 will just be killing Cruel fast enough before he can one-shot you with Annihilate. You'll notice in my kill that Cruel's last Annihilate cast procs my cheat death trinket. Hey, that's why I'm wearing it. Alright, that's it. I'm going to play the kill in its entirety now. Ask questions if you have any, like and subscribe. You know the drill. Good luck with the Mage Tower. Thanks for watching. Bye. Varus, dispose of this With pleasure, my lord. <laughs> Thank you.
Strong champion, do not give up. Ha! You are all that remains. There is no hope. It is you who are alone, cruel. Your time has come. This is not possible. Overloading himself with power. Look out! <laughs> 